Egemen Bayez. She's the Turkish ambassador to the Czech Republic and the former minister for EU affairs. Good to have you on the programs here uh, with, with us. What are the implications here that the EU's own border agency is accused of helping to cover up these violations? It's such an interesting story that the international media has uncovered. What's so amazing is in the past, Frontex was reporting to the Greek commissioner, the commissioner Avramopoulos from Greece, and he was much more cooperative. He was much more understanding. He was a statesman, and he understood that Turkey's cooperation is essential for Europe to deal with this crisis of illegal immigration, migration issue. And uh, unfortunately, he has left office, but the new management uh, now is uh, acting very stilly. If this is true, if there is a pushback, it's a human tragedy. We have seen before uh, children dying in the shores uh, or dead bodies of kids uh, coming up to the Turkish shores, and uh, now we know who is responsible. I think it's not the first time that Greece has uh, acted in this manner. Uh, they have a tradition of uh, going around international law, especially maritime law, but this is really a human tragedy. And the whole European Union, if it stands for human rights, for democracy, for uh, individual freedoms, has to look into this. I'm happy that the Ombudsman for European Union has started an investigation into Frontex. I'm hoping that this is going to be taken very seriously. And I hope this uh, unanimity clause of EU, where all countries need to vote unanimously on every single issue, uh, is not going to prevent another looking the other way case where Greece will get away with this uh, criminal act. What does this all mean for the rule of law at the EU borders and for the EU's own stance on the migration issue? Well, uh, we have yet to see how EU is going to deal with this crisis, but EU is supposed to represent the most important center uh, of human rights, uh, rule of law, uh, individual freedoms, and uh, has always been a place of refuge for people to find solutions to their problems. But this act of forcing people to death, forcing people back uh, to the cold waters of the Aegean is not humane. And someone has to look into this, and someone has to answer to this crime. As you know, Turkey has more refugees than any other country per uh, population. We are housing more than 4 million refugees from all around the world, mainly from Syria. And we have shared our bread, our water, our resources with the needy people because it was the right thing to do. We could not let them die in the hands of a brutal dictator like Assad of Syria. So we opened our doors. European Union countries cannot even handle taking a few hundred, whereas Turkey has received more than 3.5 million Syrians. And we have spent more than $40 billion uh, for their need. And we are doing it because it's the right thing to do. But it's time for Europe to do the right thing as well. If they don't want to share the burden, then they have to help us establish safety zones in Syria where these people can go back and rebuild their country. The, long-term solution is to bring democracy to Syria, and the short-term solution is to build uh, refugee areas where they would feel safe to go back to within Syria, around the borders of Turkey, and uh, rebuild their homes, their places of uh, education, schools, shops, uh, agricultural areas, uh, start farming, okay. start animal breeding. But until then, we have to find solutions to the needs, to the daily needs of these people. Okay. We'll leave it there, Egemen Bayesh. Thank you.